Unlike fission, nuclear fusion doesn't create any deadly nuclear waste because it fuses atoms together instead of splitting them apart, so there's no threat of a runaway reaction that could lead to a meltdown event. But this is easier said than done. One nuclear prize winning physicist described fusion as trying to put the sun into a box. The idea is pretty, the problem is we don't know how to make the box. The technical issue is that fusion reactions will produce material that's so volatile and hot it will damage the reactor that created it. This isn't stopping private companies and governments from spending billions to research the technology and solve these problems. And if the immense challenges can be overcome, fusion will provide virtually limitless energy and power the world. That's why the world's wealthiest governments are collaborating on the controversial International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor in France known as ITER. When was the last time Russia, China, Europe, and the United States collaborated on anything? That's how important for humanity this project is, and because of its revolutionary potential, several powerful companies like Lockheed Martin are quietly working on their own fusion reactors. Lockheed has a very optimistic timeline for their system, projecting that they will meet global energy demand by 2050. Their optimism may be fairly justified. In October 2013, in separate research, Scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in the United States achieved a huge milestone in fusion when, for the first time, a fuel capsule gave off more energy than was applied to it.